Now, what I'd like to present to you is something which is fundamental to the NLP process. And uh, it's also fundamental to the idea of communicating and being an effective communicator. And what, we, what I'm going to present to you is certain aspects that we consider to be essential aspects of an effective communicator. Now, you may already have an idea of what you think an effective communicator um, has. What are the, the essential components for it? So you may want to just see how it compares to the list I'll be presenting to you. One thing that, uh, that we consider to be essential in NLP is knowing what your outcome is, knowing what you want. A lot of what we focused on this morning, the problem versus outcome, the as-if frame, there is an emphasis on goals, or as we say in NLP, which is a little different, an outcome. What do you want to have happen? Uh, very often, as a consultant, when someone comes in to me and uh, I would say to them, what, so first question is, what, what would you like? What do you want? How do you want it to be different? Often, when people want to change, that their focus is on what they don't want. Uh, many of us say, let's see, well, what I want is to not feel anxious. So what they're basically saying is, I feel anxious, I don't want that. Or they'll say, uh, I don't want to be depressed. Or I don't want to procrastinate. Or I don't want to uh, uh, feel uh, uncomfortable about doing a presentation. Or I don't want... Um, feel uh, um, like a wimp. So whatever the th that we often represent our goal, not as a goal, but as what we don't want. And even in communication, when you think about communicating with people, what are some of your what are some of your goals when you're with someone? What what do you want? Okay. Now that is said in the positives. It's a, it's a, it's a goal. Um, I want to be able to understand. I want to be able to be understood. Where, where someone else might say, I don't want to be misunderstood. I don't want to be confusing. So they're focusing on what they don't want. What would be another example of what you would want in a, in a communication? Clear or concise communication. Okay. I want to be clear. I want to be concise as opposed to, I don't want to be vague, I don't want to be confusing. I want to listen. Okay, I want this person to listen. Or as opposed to, I don't want people to ignore me. Um, now, um, when, when, we, when we set uh, a goal uh, years ago in terms of exploring space, and you can have a, a general goal, like I want to, want to explore space, or we can say, I want to put a man on the moon. One is very specific, very precise. One is more general. Uh, so the first thing that I consider to be important is to know what you want. Uh, even if it may not, it may be, I want to be liked. Uh, it's useful to know if that's one of the goals that you have. Or maybe I want to be, um, I want to, you know, I want to look, see, he said I want to look confident. What do I want to feel confident? It's a big difference between which you have as your goal. Is it to feel confident? Is it to be confident? To feel confident? To look confident? Those are very different um, goals that you have. And a lot of people, how is their outcome is to appear uh, confident. Um, that it's the appearance, that's their goal, as opposed to, I want to be effective, and I want to uh, achieve, um, I want to be excellent. Of course, we can define what exactly what that is. So the first, the first aspect is knowing what you want. 
And this could be different for each person. You know, maybe for someone is, and this is, could be in relation to somebody else, or it could be for yourself, you know, um, I want to be more accepting. But there's also maybe some problems with that. Maybe there's a downside of that too. So we're looking at initially what your goal is. Um, what are some other outcomes that, that you have? I want them to side with me. Okay. I want that person to side with me. And um, and let me ask if we let me take a step further. What's the outcome of the outcome? By having the person side with you, is there an outcome of that if that goes beyond that? By having someone side with you, what will that then do for you? Yeah. Some, sometimes it goes beyond that. If you say, I want someone, I want to appear confident. It's more comradeship. I'm sorry? It's more comradeship. Uh huh. So, what you want is to have camaraderie. What you want is to have um, an ally, um, perhaps. So, what you want is for them to side with you so that you can have the experience of being on the same side that you have a comrade. Good. What else do you want in a relationship or in a, in a communication? I want to be trusted. Okay. Wanting to be trusted. Now that, you know, again, is, is a goal. To be able to, uh, to have, you know, which is different from my goal is to be trusting. I want to be trusted or I want to be trusting. So it's really, uh, um, uh, this, do you understand how this is essential? In one is communicating, to have a point, to have a. Do you ever have a? Do you ever communicate with someone, and you start thinking to yourself, what's their point? You know, what is, what is it they want? Um, and you have, and you have a feeling that they don't know. And uh, and. What does that do in, in a relation? In, in, what happens when that happens in, in terms of communication? When you. When the, when the person is kind of going on and on, and it doesn't, doesn't appear to be any point or purpose. Interest. You lose interest, it could turn no off. connection or rapport at all. No, exactly. It would seem that it would make a big difference to the other person as well as to you if they knew what they wanted. And I'm sure you've all, we've all had that happen to us where we're communicating, and we're, if someone said to us at the moment, if someone kind of like put, a, put the uh, interaction in a pause and said, hey, what is it that you want right now? And you might say, I don't know. You think that might happen sometimes when you're communicating? That if, uh, if the button pause and say, okay, what is, do you have an outcome right now? I would say that we probably always have an outcome. It may or may not be conscious. But if we pause ourselves and said, what is it do I want right now? You, you may not like what the answer is. Maybe it's, I want the person to like me. You know, maybe it's, uh, I want to get out of here. I just want to uh, end this conversation. Or maybe I want to feel safe, and I don't feel safe right now. So whatever that happens to be, there's usually some outcome that we have that we're, we're either effective at getting, or, or maybe we're not so effective. But to get to be able to get there, the question is, what is it that you want? Okay. Any questions about about that one? What? It seems that the outcomes, in my mind at least, should be specific to yourself rather than rather than some, that you want something from someone else. Mm -hmm. Well, um, as I was mentioning before. There's a whole topic that we're going to be doing in the training called the well-formed outcome. And part of the well-formed outcome is when someone says, I want you know, someone else to uh, respect me, or I want another person to understand me, or I want another person to listen to me. Those things, you might get it, 